On a day of fun and foliage, it is difficult to imagine that the town of Wanakina, New York was in danger of vanishing along with many other lumber towns when the ranger school was established in 1912. Christopher Westbrook, the director of the school, is proud of the close relationship between the ranger school and the local community over the past century. What's special this year is that it is our 100th anniversary and um, we're the first forest technology school in the country to be able to celebrate that 100 years. The Forest Festival offered visitors a chance to explore the history of the school and to experience its unique educational environment firsthand. The school's practical, experience-based approach to learning is what attracts many students. I was looking at colleges where I would get a lot of field experience, so I found SUNY ESF and I did a few visits there and I found out about the Ranger School through one of those visits and as I looked into it more, I learned how much field work we actually do up here. We're actually out in the woods doing labs and experiments and conducting research for two, three, four hours a day. Many students come to the Ranger School for their sophomore year before returning to SUNY's College of Environmental Science and Forestry in Syracuse to complete their bachelor's degree. So I figured if I'm in forestry, if I can make it through Ranger School, I can make it anywhere. Let's so make it or break it for if this is what I'm meant to do. The school's program is an intensive immersion in the skills students will need in their future careers. To start off, our students get 45 credit hours in one year, where at a typical college it might be 30, 36 credit hours a year. Our students get uh, eight, they go to school eight hours a day, five days a week. Their typical day is they spend four hours in the classroom in the morning and then four hours out in the field in the afternoon. A passion for the outdoors forms a strong bond between Ranger School staff and students. Faculty member Jamie Savage guides students in their exploration of careers related to forestry. Uh, many of them have an interest in maybe being a forest ranger. They know a little bit about that or a conservation officer. They come here with that idea and then they realize through our program that there's many other opportunities that they have to pursue as far as career paths, not just a ranger or conservation officer, but there are many other outdoor oriented careers that they find themselves getting interested in and, and pursuing. And they do that all over the country. I was one of the first students to be in the new program that they just started last year which is environmental and natural resource conservation. Um, so instead of doing more of like the logging aspect the second half of the year in that, we work more on environmental uh, awareness, uh, wildlife tracking, GIS, which is geographic information systems, um, a lot more hands-on environmental aspects of the school. The size of the school, there are just 45 students in this year's class, creates a close-knit community, a community that thrives in the bounty of natural wonders surrounding it. It's small, there's not a lot of students, so I know everybody pretty well, and it's just a beautiful campus. I mean, we wake up, we go out, we look on the Oswegatchie River, and it's just the fall colors are starting to come in, and the water is usually like glass, so everything's reflecting, and it's just absolutely beautiful up here. We're having several events that celebrate our centennial through the year, and, and this forest festival we thought would be a fun one and an important one, not just to celebrate the school, but also to celebrate forests, which dominate New York State, and also to celebrate forestry, which has been practiced in New York State since the late 1800s. Forestry has a long history in the state, and while the tools of the trade have evolved over time, many students honor the traditions and skills of Lumberjack's past by joining the Blue Ox Woodsman team. I'm not sure what my best event is, but my favorite is the horizontal chop, which is what I was just doing, where you stand on the log and you chop it from between your legs. It definitely takes a lot of practice. It's not something you can just watch and then pick up. Um, so first, it's obviously safety first. You wear the big tin booties and shin guards um, or chain mail underneath your sneakers. It's mostly about being accurate and then how hard you can hit it. And then once you're really good, you can go as fast as you can. The Woodcraft exhibitions, celebrity appearances, and other festivities were an opportunity for the Ranger School to cement its ties to the region. You know, I think we play an integral role in uh, this part of the of the of St. Lawrence County, um, and also in the in the Adirondack Park. And so we're a fairly unique institution um, that, hopefully, through this, you know, events like this Forest Festival, we're going to let people know that we're here and and, and the um, and, and the importance of this institution to this community and to um, uh, to future uh, forest technicians, survey techs, that kind of thing.